Wizards host in the Cavs, and the Cavs are two and a half or three point favorites. The over under is at 220. Cleveland is minus 140 on the money line, and Washington is plus 120. The Cavs have won their last two games. The Wizards have lost their last two games. Before you bet on this game, go to Twitter, go to Underdog NBA, and see what players are actually playing in this game, and then use a site like VegasInsider.com. It'll allow you to compare all the casino's pricings in one place, so you get the most advantageous line depending upon what side of this game you want to bet. Now, head-to-head, -head, the home team are on a three-game winning streak. The Cavs are on a two-game winning streak against the Wizards. The Wizards are 6-4 and four against Cleveland in their last 10. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The favorite is 5-5 five and five against the spread. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The under is 6-4 and four in their last 10, and the over-under at 220 is 5-5 five and five in their last 10 games. The last game that they played, Cleveland won 117-107 in overtime as three and a half point favorites. The game before that, Cleveland won 92-86. They were eight and a half point home favorites. They did not cover. The game before that, the Wizards won 110-93 as four point home favorites. And the game before that, the Cavs won 116-101. They were three point road underdogs. Three out of the last four games that they played against each other, Cleveland has won. Now. In their last handful of games, Cleveland has covered their last two games. They are 6-4 and four against the spread in their last 10. They've had a combined 225, 241, 197, and 221 points in their last four games. For the Wizards, they have not covered their last two games. The last two games that they've played have gone over, and they also are 6-4 and four against the spread in their last 10 games. We've had a combined 248, 240, 233 and 216 points in the games in which they played. Now, looking at some of the players who are not playing for the Wizards is kind of going to lead me a little bit more towards the other side than I probably would have gone. I'm going to take Cleveland with the money line. I'm going to take Cleveland laying the two and a half, but maybe the Wizards, if this line goes north of three, three and a half, I would consider taking them. And I'm going to go over in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.